On the left, we have an image with a background, green background. On the right, we have an image with no background. No software needed, completely free. I've got five completely free methods. One involves software, but it is completely free. The other four, no software. Let's go. Okay, I'm on a website called pixabay.com and these are completely free images that you can use. So I just picked an image here at random. Here's an image of a model and I'm gonna be using this. The image has got a green background on it. I'm just gonna download the image. We've got different options here to download and I'm gonna remove the background using five different methods. Okay, the first website's called fococlipping.com. Pretty easy, you just drop a file right in here or you click the upload an image button. So I'm gonna click the upload image. Now I'm gonna upload a pretty big image here. This is 4,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels. So let's see how good this does with a big image. Okay, the image is uploaded. Now the big downside to this is that you don't have any options really to modify the AI, the artificial intelligence. And the other big downside is that it took forever to upload. It probably took about three minutes, which if you're sitting here staring at a laptop is a long time. So, uh, but anyway, that's a, it's free. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, there's this little thing over here on the right hand side, top right called shadow. And I'm gonna click on that. And what you can do now is you can add funky elements in here. So there's a shadow element you can add and it's very subtle, but you can see it's in behind the hair there. And then you can actually change a little bit of the blur. So you can monkey around with some designs. Now it'll be different if, you know, every depending on what photo you've uploaded. The other thing you can do is there's an outline and this is kind of neat too. So I can make an outline and I can make it bigger or smaller depending on what I want. So overall, you know, this tool does take a while to use. It's a few minutes to upload a high quality design, but I think it's worth it. Then you can download here on the top right. You just click the download button. You can choose the format PNG or JPEG. Definitely pick the PNG because that's what's got the transparent background. So you click PNG and then you can download the file. Another limitation of the free foco clipping software is that when i hover over my downloaded image it's now 2000 by 3000 pixels a little bit different than the super large image that i downloaded earlier so it will reduce the file size it looks like the maximum limitation here is 2000 by 3000 that's still a very large image but if you're making super large images just be aware there is a limitation so next up we have in pixio and this is just a free software uh you know online sample and if you scroll right down to the very bottom, they've got tools on this website and one of them is remove the background. So that's what I'm gonna click on is this remove background tool. Remove backgrounds from images for free. You're just gonna drag the image here or you can just choose a photo. You can also use the image URL. So if you know where the photo is sitting online, you don't actually have to download it to your computer. That's kind of nice. I'm just gonna choose the photo here. Okay, it uploaded the photo pretty quickly here within 10 seconds. And now this is just the basic photo. There's the background. So I'm just gonna click the apply button here over on the right hand side. Okay, and we can see here, it not only removed the entire background, but it removed the hair as well. So it was not smart enough to know that the hair is different than the background. So this one's okay. You can see up in the top right, you can see there's a bit of the hair sitting there. Again, if this is what you want, there's nothing wrong with that. You can then just click the save your photos option. So the good news is it was quick to upload, which was fine, and it was quick to apply. The downside is the AI doesn't seem to be quite as smart. So I've downloaded my PNG file here from InPixio, and it did keep the same pixel dimensions. It's 4,000 by 6,000. So you can see it's kind of a wispy hair. So you know, using a different background that could look okay. So again, it totally depends on the picture you're uploading. The third one we're gonna check out here is a website called removal.ai, the AI standing for artificial intelligence. So now I'm just gonna choose a photo and we'll see what happens. Okay, this one loaded up really quickly within five seconds. Here's the original image. And then there's a tab here at the top for the removed image. So the big upside is it certainly was smart enough to remove the background. The reason I picked this image is because the background's green, the clothing is a bit different green, and the removed background, it was smart enough to keep the clothes, remove the background, and keep the hair. This one looks amazing. The downside is if you download the image, 
it's pretty wimpy. It's only four, 405 by 608, or you can download high quality 533 by 800. And of course, when you download the high quality image, it wants money. So you can download the tinier image for free, but just keep in mind it is a smaller image size. All right, the next option here is powered by Adobe. It's on adobe.com and it's this thing called Adobe Express. It's also called Adobe Spark. And so you can have an Adobe account, you can sign in. I'm just gonna upload my photo right on this website. So this is adobe.com express feature image remove background. Again, I'll put the links down in the video description below. So you can upload your photo right here. Adobe always seems to be changing things around. It says here free for a limited time. So you never know if they're gonna change it. As of the time of this recording, Adobe Spark does have this free removal tool online. Okay, and that looks pretty good. You can see here it kept the clothing to remove the background. This is one of the smarter AIs that I've seen online. And then you can just simply download the photo here. So I've downloaded my image here from Adobe Spark. It is a PNG file and it did keep the original dimension. So it's 4,000 by 6,000. I like this one the best for this individual photo, but again, depending on your photo, you might see something slightly different. Okay, the fifth option is Inkscape. And Inkscape's completely free. If you've never heard of it before, you can just download it from inkscape.org. I'll put a link in the video description below. I'm just gonna click the image here and I'm gonna actually trace a bitmap. Now there's a couple downsides to, downsides to using Inkscape. Inkscape is completely free. However, I find when you go to path and trace bitmap, you're gonna get an option here to do a path and you can do multiple scans. I'm not a huge fan of the color scans of Inkscape. And the reason is because I find that when the, I'll just do colors here and I'll click update. You can see here over in the preview section, it's very layered because it's making a vector. And so if you don't mind having sort of pixelated, weird looking vectors, you know, you might want that for art prints, but I'm not a big fan of the colorization in Inkscape. It also, the other downside is Inkscape does not handle really large files well, unless you've got a beast of a computer. So I've got a normal, I would even say higher than average computer, and it won't handle a 4,000 by 6,000 photo. It just craps out and it says not responding, or it could take like half an hour to, you know, basically render the image, which is ridiculous. So I'm using a smaller image here and I'm gonna create a vector from it. So to create the vector, I just went to path and then I went to trace bitmap. Now up on the right hand side, I'm going to single scan and from here I'm going to brightness and then I'm gonna click update. Now you can see here, I've just got a black and white. So this is the downside is you can't really do a color vector that looks amazing, but you can do a black and white vector that does look amazing. You can change the brightness here simply by, when you do single scan, there's a brightness cutoff. So you can see here there's 45. I can go up to 100. And if I go up to 100 or anywhere close to 100 and I click update, you'll see it gets very, very dark. Then I click right down. If I go down to like say 20 something and I click update, it's quite light. So I'm just gonna leave it at 45 because I actually like the way that looks. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna click apply. It's very quick and it gives me this black and white print. I'm just gonna delete out the actual original. So now this is an actual vector. So when I click on the actual vector paths, you can see there there's vector paths. And if you wanna get rid of little edges, so for example, see how over in the corner, because my photo scan here was dark, I've got this little sort of black th thing over on the top left. I can actually just co copy, I can actually just hover over that using the mouse tool and I can delete it which is kind of nice. So it actually gets rid of little tiny imperfections here in the drawing. So I can do that. I can make it pretty clean. And then from here, I've got my original copied now to a black and white. The other really nice thing about this is I can actually just now using the color palette down below, I can actually just change the color of it. So if you wanted to do like a you know rock and roll mono print, you know, if I put that on like a brown background, that would look really nice for an art print, for example. So there's nothing wrong with doing arty stuff. You may have to just use your limitations of the software that you've got if you don't have high-end software. Inkscape is completely free and you can make some really nice art prints based on scanning into vector. So those are the five options. They each have their upsides and they each have their downsides. However, using 
the different methods, you can come up with some really nice alternatives rather than having to pay money. I hope you guys found that helpful. As always, please like, please subscribe, check out my other videos. Thank you so, so much for watching.